all, my name is Tanuksha, studying in second standard KV. I am going to tell, tell you a story. Story name is Blackie the Crow. One day, one Blackie the Crow was very hungry. He looked for food everywhere, but he could not find anywhere. He looked, he saw a grandma making vadas. He flew and sat near the window. He, he was, grandma saw the crow and take one, take a vada and give it to the crow. He flew and sat on a tree. There came one fox. He was very tired. He, he saw, a, saw a crow with vada. He requested, he requested, share the vada and if he accepted, crow is accepted. Next, they became friends and and in the forest, he happily, moral of the story, he, like grandma and a crow, helped the needy. Thank you. My name is Ajivita, second standard Kiwi. I am the thirsty crow. On a day, the crow was very thirsty. He looked for the water here and there. At last, he found a pot with a little water. Keep power till you achieve your goal. Thank you. Hi everybody. I am Prakash John Kumar, studying raspberries. I would like to recite a poem, Daffodils, by William Wordsworth. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high over whales and hills. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze, continuous as the star that shined and twinkled on the Milky Way, they stretched in never-ending line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, Tossing their heads in sprightly dance, they waved beside them dance, but they outdid the sparkling ways in glee. A poet could not but be gay, as such a, in such a joke and company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth that show to me had brought. Craft when when on my couch I lied, when waken on in fancy more. They flash upon the inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude, and then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. Thank you. This is yes, Badri Narayan. I studying in second standard Kiwi. I tell story. Story name is Say the Truth but not hurt anyone's feeling. Jupiter, the chief of gods, was getting married. He decided to celebrate the event by hosting the air reception. Uh, invited all the animals live on living on land and in water. He he to attend the reception. All the animals came to attend the feast, but tortoise did not come. Jupiter was surprised. It has it has absence. After few days, Jupiter came across the tortoise and asked him, why, why should, why you, why did not attend 
why did not you attend the reception? We should. Were you all right? The daughters replied, I am a stay-at-home type of animal and never care to attend pity affairs. We, why should I trouble myself the, when there is no place like, my, like home? Though the daughter said something very true, but the way he said very hurting. Jupiter felt pinched. Jupiter felt pinched and cursed the tortoise. Cursed the tortoise. Uh, now you will always carry your home on your back. And on your back and never be able to um, unload it. Till today, every tortoise carries his home with him. Moral, say the truth but not hurt anyone's feelings. Thank you. Good morning to another. Today I am going to talk about the story, The Greedy Mouse. A greedy mouse saw a basket full of... A greedy mouse saw a basket full of corn. He wanted to eat it. He put a small hole in there. He squeezed, in, he squeezed inside it and he ate and he ate lot of corn. He was very happy. He, he tried to came. He tried to come out of the hole. He didn't because his belly was full. A rabbit was passing by. His, but he, the rabbit was passing by. The mouse crying. Why, why are you crying, mouse? I put a small hole in the basket and I come out. I didn't come. I could not come out. The mouse said, the rabbit said, you, you, you are eat lot of corn. Wait, wait, wait your belly or string. The, the mouse will, the rat felt sleep. Next morning his belly was strung. He wanted to eat uh, more corn. He ate and he ate and ate. His belly was full. He thought tomorrow I will go out. A cat was passing by. He smelled the rat smell and he, and he jumped into the basket and ate the, ate the rat. Moral of the story is too much greed is harmful. Thank you. The goose with the golden eggs. Once upon a time, there lived a farmer and his wife with their animals and a special goose. The speciality of goose is the speciality of goose is. Speciality of goose is uh, in the golden egg. The golden egg. The farmer, jealous wife. The, to cut the goose. Morning to all. 
My name is Divya Asti. I study in second standard Kiwi section. I am tell poem. Poem, poem heading name is Nine little zebras. One little, two little, three little zebras. Four little, five little, six little zebras. Seven little, eight little, nine little zebras. Galloping across the plain. Nine little, eight little, seven little zebras. Six little, five little, four little zebras. Three little, two little, one little zebra. Galloping back again. Thank you. Morning to everyone. I am Dia. I am studying for standard cherry. One day, the thirsty crow, looking for water here and there, he found pot near the house. He was little water. He could not fetch. Suddenly, one idea flashed. The, crow, the thirsty crow picked up the stones and put into the water. The water came up, the crow drank and flew away. Thank you. One day, a crow was very thirsty. He looked for water here and there. But he, but he could not find anywhere. At last, he saw a pot with little water. He, then, then he got an, an idea. He looked he picked up stones and dropped them into the pot, one by one. That, that water slowly came up. The crow drank the water and flew away happily.